Hello Internet and welcome back to EGT. Today we are broadcasting from a beautiful lake in downtown Minecraft where we're going to be talking about such stories as a kid who found meth in a used copy of Grand Theft Auto V. We're going to be talking about an Illinois college that is going to pay you to play games. And you might want to stick with your collectibles. They could save your life. And we're talking about bats! No. No, we're not. After all this time, Nintendo has finally made it easier for us to give them our money. They have now allowed us to store our credit card information, which uh, means you can buy more games. Or you could, if there were any. Uh, Nintendo's trying to rectify that situation by be practically begging third party uh, developers and creating a better dev toolkit. I'm not sure if this means they learned from the whole uh, Wii U issue or if it's just really, really sad. In other news, the Nintendo Switch. We've covered Switch related news in every episode of this show so far. And there's no signs of it slowing down. So here's a whole lot of stuff about the Nintendo Switch. It costs $300. You can buy like four grams of Coke for that much. But much like cocaine, people are tr constantly trying to get their hands on it, no matter the cost. Shutting down the people who said the console wouldn't sell well, uh, sell all that well due to its price. People also said the, the Switch would have shitty graphics. They were wrong. People said you couldn't port games onto the Switch without completely gutting them like a shitty Wii port of a PS3 game. They were wrong. They said the Switch couldn't run Unreal 4. It could run it with the touch of a button. It looks like the Nintendo Switch is a much better console than anyone gave it credit for. And I'm expecting great things from it. Don't fuck this up, Nintendo. I know you're thinking about it. If you're a PC gamer, hop on over to HumbleBundle.com and get the Humble Bundle Tiny Build Bundle. That will allow you to spend as little as a dollar to pick up four games, including my favorite, No Time to Explain. If you wanted to spend a little bit more, say, eight dollars, you can pick up nine games, which will include Cluster Truck and Guts and Glory, or as I like to call it, 3D Happy Wheels. Spend 15 bucks, I don't have that many fingers, and you can get two more games, including uh, Streets of Rogue, which, <laughs> excellent game. I played the, uh, the open alpha when it was out a few months ago. But if you really like Tiny Builds, you can pre-order Hello Neighbor for 40 bucks, netting yourself a art book and the soundtrack. And the best part of all this, all that money, or a portion of it, will go to a charity of your choice, allowing you to get some games and help out people in need. Under the Indie Showcase, Risk of Rain is a game I've never heard of, and it's getting a sequel in 3D. Moving on, there's a new Strafe trailer, and it's awesome. I'm not going to spoil anything, except that it looks like a 90s movie trailer. I know from some of the beta footage that Strafe is a cool game. I also know that Strafe is ridiculously fast-paced, fast and I think I know a little something about speed. Welcome to Cool Stuff, where we talk about things that are cool. I recently saw the Blade Runner 2049 trailer and thought, yeah, you know, it's going to be really good. And then I kind of thought about it a little bit more and realized they're just going to kill off Harrison Ford's character, so what, what, what's the point of even going and seeing it? <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm still going to go see it. You know, movie theater popcorn and whatnot. I've linked the trailer down below, but honestly, it was a little bit underwhelming. For some reason, people still play GTA V, a game that came out when I was still in high school. Well, it's got an update. This update includes two races. One is called Beach Party, where you'll earn three times the amount of normal RP that you'd usually get, and the top three racers earn a crap load of cash. The second one is a time trial that, surprise, you get rewards after you beat it. Oh, and if you complete a heist, you get double the rewards. And a reminder that nowhere is safe, Redditor Rabbit Mix was chilling out playing prey in their room whenever they heard a loud pop. Turns out they got shot at. Luckily, Rabbit Mix likes good games and had their 
Elder Scrolls Anthology handy. It also turns out that the Elder Scrolls Anthology can stop bullets. Luckily, Rabbit Mix was okay, but their Elder Scrolls Anthology was ruined, and they were kind of bummed out about it. Because, you know, our things are more important than staying alive. It's time for rumors! Rumor has it that a new Assassin's Creed game is going to be uh, in the works and it's going to take place in ancient Egypt. And uh, it looks like um, it's going to allow you to raid boats and assassinate a crocodile. And it's going to be cool. Unless, um, unless it's not actually going to come out. Because it's a rumor, remember? Just call me Shiny Kathy, because a little bird told me that Retro Studios is teasing a new Metroid Prime game. <coughs> if I don't have to hear Samus talk about the baby, it'll be a Metroid Prius game for all I fucking care. And speaking of Metroid, we might be getting two brand spanking new Metroid games. Or at least that's what Super Metal Dave 64 says. Who the fuck is that? He's a Nintendo YouTuber. Anyway, according to Captain In or whatever his name is, two new Metroid Nintendo tapes are currently being developed by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch, and at least one of them might be at E3. Who knows? Maybe one of them will be at PAX. I wouldn't bet on it, though. There's also a rumor that there might be a new Kingdom Hearts game, and nobody likes Kingdom Hearts. Nintendo filed a trademark for a Bowser game, which tells me they might be planning to make one, but you didn't hear that even from me. Welcome to Tech News, a new segment where we talk about tech. We all know Apple really likes to get rid of features on their phones. There's currently a rumor going around that the next iPhone's not going to have a home button. Well, at least this time you're not going to be having to ask your buddies for a dongle. We all know mobile gamers aren't real gamers, but damn are they getting there. The new Snapdragon processors perform 20% better than their predecessors, and their GPU is said to perform 30% better. They both support 4K, which means you'll be able to see the individual hairs on those Pokemon that you catch. It also claims to charge the battery to 50% in 15 minutes, which means you'll be able to get out and play Pokemon Go for at least half an hour. So apparently a kid found a bag, bag of meth and a used copy of GTA 5. This happened in Florida because of course it did. The weird part is they didn't call GameStop and say, hey, thanks for the meth. Like polite Floridians. They got the cops involved. The cops c could confirm that the baggie did in fact contain meth. The manager of the GameStop offered to replace the game, but his offer was just lined. Moving on. Two competitors in the Tekken 7 UK Championship London Qualifier with stupid names have been banned from competing. Bandai Namco said two players have been suspected of collusion to manipulate the results of the tournament. I'm not saying they actually did that, I'm just saying don't get caught doing that. In other other news, a college in Illinois will be offering scholarships for playing video games. They have an esports team coached by Christian Matlock. I thought he was a detective or something. Wait, no, different Matlock. Anyway, I've been playing video games all my life and nobody ever gave me a scholarship. Hopefully, this sets a precedent so that others don't suffer the same fate. Emily is Away was a hit game back in 2015. All the cool Let's Players were playing it. I didn't play it because this channel didn't exist yet, not because I'm not, I'm not cool. I'm cool. Shut up. Anyway, Emily is Away 2 is coming out at the end of May. It takes place back in 2006, the early days of social media and YouTube. I'm pretty hyped for it. I can't wait for all these OG memes to cash in on my nostalgia. Well, anyway, on to the ne- What do you mean there's no next one? This is the longest segment of the show. What do you- What do you mean? We've ca we've covered everything for this month. People need to know what's co- Fuck. 
Well, that's the show.